The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. And, and did you ever expect to see an African-American president during your lifetime? Is that something you thought would happen? Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I guess I've always thought there would be black coaches, black heads of universities. Um, maybe, again, as I said, I'm naive. But the thing that I always I knew that it would have to be a black president who was approved by the elites and uh, the media because anybody they didn't agree with, they would take apart. Um, and that will happen with virtually, you pick your person, any black person who says something that is not the prescribed things that they expect from a black person will be picked apart. You can pick anybody, don't pick me, pick anyone who has decided not to go along with it. There's a price to pay. So I always assumed it would be somebody the media had to agree with. Have you met President Obama? Have you had a chance to yes. speak with him uh, personally or just in passing? Well, in passing more. I mean, he visited the court. It's not like I don't run it. I don't do a lot of Washington, so I'm not, and I'm, not a polit I'm not into politics. So, I mean, there's not that many occasions. I shook hands with him at the inauguration. He's very polite. Uh, but, no, I've had no in-depth conversations. Was, was that a courtesy visit he was paying to all the justices or yes. you in particular? All, all the members of the court. Is that uh, typical of U.S. presidents to do that? President Clinton did it. He's his personal bill of per You know, we were at Yale together, so I kind of knew him a little bit better. But um, the it is in recent years, yes, they stopped by the president-elect and shake hands with the members of the court and meet us as a group. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.